All right, Casey, Stonington Indoor and Outdoor Track, uh, head coach Ben Bound. Uh, ben, sixth year here at Stonington. Yep. Um, ECC uh, champs last year. Talk about you know the growth that you've seen in, in the program here at Stonington in the last five or six years. Uh, when I started with the program about six years ago, it was about 25, 30 athletes, and it, it steadily grew over the past few years. Uh, last year, we had about 110 on the indoor team, 80 on the outdoor team. And this year, we started about 105 on the indoor team, and we're probably about 80 again on the outdoor team. So it's grown quite a bit in six years. What, what makes the numbers grow? What piques interest in a program? Um, it, kids just, they really love coming out and they love working hard and track and field is such a great sport where if you really dedicate yourself and, and, you, and you put yourself out there and you work really hard, you can see yourself getting better. You get a time, you get a distance, you get a jump, you get a throw and you can see that progression. And so we really focus on, you know, the kids improvement no matter if they're a Cam Whalen of the world or if they're a kid just starting out. Um, we, we focus and we celebrate all their improvement. Yeah, so when you talk about, you know, cross training in sports too, you know, track and field's got to help the football players, yeah. you know, the, the soccer players. Yeah. I mean, the, the overall conditioning, what makes, you know, track and field fun? Uh, I think it's just the environment and the, and the success. The kids really enjoy it. And we try to keep it fun because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do, other, you know, people do is just training. So uh, we try to have fun with the kids too at the same time. And, and success is, is fun and winning is fun. And kids like to come out and go to meets and, and do really well. And, the, and that spreads excitement. Um, and speaking of soccer, um, you know, a couple of years ago when the, the boys soccer team, all that, sure. that group of seniors were all freshmen, they came out for track. Cam Whalen's older brother, you know, got on the recruiting trail yeah. and said, hey guys, come out and do this. It's going to help prepare you for soccer. And uh, Coach DeCastro saw that the next season, their sophomore year, he said, man, these guys are in great shape. So then he started encouraging all of his players to come out for track. So we have a huge, huge uh, number of, of players that come from the soccer program, which yeah. is, is fantastic. We help each other out, yeah. and you, you can see it. You've got a special weekend coming up. Yep. I mean, this team is heading what to the Dartmouth Relays this weekend? Dartmouth Relays. It is one of the most prestigious indoor track and field meets on the East Coast, if not the country. Um, last year when we were there, some of the fastest times in the country were ran at this meet. So we're really excited to go. We're going up with about 30 athletes this weekend. The parents are uh, footing the bill and taking them up there. We are really, really excited. Well, real quick in the last 30 seconds or so, talk about some of the special student athletes you may have this year. Uh, we have so many. We really just have a great team. It's hard to really narrow it down. Um, you know, like this weekend, Cam Whalen's a number four seed in the hurdles. Reese Hammond is going to be in the fastest heat of the thousand. That thousand meter race last year saw some of the fastest times of the year. Our girls 4x8, which were state champions last year, they're going to be in the fast heat of the 4x8. Uh, Grayson Del Grosso is going to be in the in the top flight of the shot, but we're just we're super excited. We're going to try to qualify for some national level competition as well. So it's going to be a really exciting weekend. Yeah, it's great stuff, Casey, at halftime of game day to talk to some of these coaches from other sports and find out great things that are happening at the high schools and the communities. Coach, good luck this year and good luck in Dartmouth. Thank you very much.